In this video I will show how to configure RapidSCADA to communicate with Modbus devices. Modbus is a very popular communication protocol. It is supported by a wide range of devices. And the default configuration of RapidSCADA already contains the examples of Modbus settings. I would like to show these settings. Uh, you can use them for creating your own new configurations of RapidSCADA. Open administrator application which allow to edit the configuration database. Open communication lines table. You can see the line number one named Modbus. Open the devices table. The device number 11 named Adam 6015 is the example of Modbus device. There are input channels created for this device and output channels. Open the communicator application. We can see line 1 Modbus. This is the same line that were, was specific in the configuration database. This line uses TCP client communication channel. Modbus devices um, may be connected using different interfaces, for example, serial port, TCP, or UDP. The device is not connected for now, that's why there is no data. Right click the device node and open properties. You can see a protocol version, the most commonly used are Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP. Modbus template describes the tags, tags of the device that are polled by the communicator application. You can click the edit button and see the contents of the template. I have a um, Modbus simulator application installed. I'm going to run it. Set some value of the tag. You can see that now the state of the device is normal and there are values received from the Modbus simulator. Let's log in the web application. The default password is 12345. The server room stream demonstrates the values of the default Modbus device.
please wait a bit now I would like to show how to add your own device to the rapid SCADA configuration for example you have a new device and you would like to connect it open the administrator application I close all the windows and create open them again create a new communication line named modbus test open devices table create two new devices modbus device one choose modbus device type enter the address this is modbus modbus address choose the new communication line and device 102 modbus device The devices on the same communication line have to use different addresses. Pass the changes to SCADA server and restart the server service now we have completed the pre preliminary configuration of the database and we need to switch to communicate application we need to import the created communication line and devices If the newly created communication line doesn't appear in the input form, just close and reopen the communicator shell. Choose the communication channel type. We are using TCP client. You can use zero port for, for example. If each of your devices has its own IP address, you should use individual connection and define call number property of the device in the com in the database. I use the same local IP address for all the devices. Custom parameters for now are empty. Our devices. Click device properties button. We are using Modbus TCP. We should to choose the device template. It is very important. For the, for the first device, I am planning to use the existing device template. For example, for Advantage Adam 6015. Okay, 
and for the second device I will create <coughs> a new device template create a group I would like to choose holding registers these settings that should be input in the device template um, usually provided by a manufacturer of the device. Pay attention that the element addresses are starting from one. Sometimes the documentation contains addresses started from zero. In this case you should add one to the address from the manual. Save the template. Close the editor and click OK. Apply communicator settings. Custom parameters contains the mode of Modbus protocol. We can restart the whole service or just start the communication line. state of the device is normal. Lock is also OK. Um, for now we enter at the first part of the settings in the configuration database and configure the communicator we make our device and communication works well. Now I will stop the record and continue in the next video.